Part two, J. Madeline, save Madeline's farm. Hit it, J. Originally, this wall that you're looking at was about this high. It was a levee system or a roadbed that went to the flood control dike. And since they removed that and put in this bridge, which is a pretty bridge, nice walking path, but the flooding has been so outstanding, it's ripping all the marshes apart and all the beautiful topsoil and contaminating our water supply. And my pond is contaminated and I can't water my crops. If you can't water crops, how are you gonna stay in business? We need to water our crops. That's right. I acquired to the water company to bring water two tenths of a mile from up the street at a price tag of about $2 million, which is unthinkable. But this is not really my problem. The land trust took and did this without special permits. No Army Corps engineers were involved. No hydrolysis study. We have everything in record and emails and there's no reason not to fix it. And I don't know why the politicians are not behind me 100% in getting this done and just having it over with. All I want to do is farm. I want to stay here the remainder of my days and my family wants to stay here. How many years have you been there? 1880. 1880? Yep. So and we're going uh, back to great, great grandfathers and- You got it. Wow. You got it. I and, believe uh, in farming. The only way we're totally. going to survive yeah. They're going to have to correct this. There's no two ways about it. The road floods at Leeds Island Road down the street now, it, and it all started from right here. And it needs to be fixed. And they're just fighting me nail and tooth, and they don't want to do anything. Well, so, how, how can we all work together on this? Well, that's What's why. What's your idea? How could we get it done? Well, it's kind of like, you know, keep bothering the politicians and the selectmen and uh tell them to they got to go out here and get it done there's no two ways around it everything that everyone does in this town they need a permit there was no permits issued whatsoever on this bridge we got pressure treated plank which i don't know anything about in wetlands and i don't want to know anything why do about you think it. that is that there wasn't permits i think they just went and did it yeah uh, things happen like that, and I don't think, I'm, I'm sure it wasn't done purposely, but what is most important now is to keep this farm going because well, we need fresh vegetables, we need fresh dairy, we need the old farming in Bramford, Connecticut. We, well, I don't, I don't think my neighbors in the community wants me gone. They want me to stay here. Oh, no, I understand that. And I just don't understand why they... It's been four years. Fix it. That's all I ask. Fix it. I want to farm. Hey, guys the, out there, you politicians that are out there, respectively from Deborah K. Levi, uh, I want to say to you, you know, what if it was your family? What if, what if it was your family and what if it was your farm? Do you know how important farming is today with what's happening? There's all kinds of things going on with the earthquakes and and uh, disasters and we're going to need the farming more than ever in the future i believe well the whole drought situation last year in the state of connecticut oh it's i know it, it's devastating you I, know we had beautiful pond water you know we we have beautiful vegetables everyone that's ever had tomatoes from us and corn they said it's not replaceable and they just walked away and left me with this disaster i'm so sorry to hear it I just wish we could all work together and to and, and we could all come together as a as a town here and come up with something because farming is where it's at. It is important to have the old farming and I'd like to